Hello friends, my name is Adam Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is Privilege Access Management or PAM. Friend, today's topic is very interesting especially if you have interest in uh, security software. So this is a very, very interesting and important topic for you. So let's uh, start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page and Instagram as well. So what is Privileged Access Management PAM? Friend, Privileged Access Management PAM encompasses the policies, strategies and technologies used to control, monitor and secure elevated access to critical resources for human and service accounts. PAM strategies enforce the principle of least privilege restricting account creation and permissions to the minimum level a person requires to do a job. Least privilege helps prevent the spread of malware, uh, decreases your cyber attack surface, improve workforce productivity and helps demonstrate compliance. Privilege access control provides security teams with fine grained uh, governance over sensitive systems and the ability to monitor how privileged company resources are being used whether your organization is a three-person startup or an enterprise uh, giant privilege access management done correctly will protect you against cyber security threats and prevent catastrophic user error while improving workflow and policy compliance pam privilege access security is a jargon rich category so let's begin with a quick look at similar and related terms. Although there is a clear difference between uh, PAM and IAM, many of these acronyms overlap. Furthermore, industry leaders sometimes use terms interchangeably, leading to greater confusion. The important thing is to understand is not the acronyms but the functionality they represent actually. Identity and Access Management IAM. A term with broad scope encompasses the processes, policies and tools involved in uh, uh, authenticating access to ensure that the right users can connect to the right resources at the right time. Privileged Access Management, a subset of IAM focused on defining and controlling who or what has the authority to make changes to a network or device. PAM establishes policies and practices to ensure the security of sensitive data and administrative accounts. Privileged Account Management A subset of Privileged Access Management, this PAM focuses specifically on managing accounts that you have defined on privileged. Privileged Identity Management Often uh, used interchangeably with Privileged Access Management PIM involves managing which resources privileged users can access. PIM is also the name of a service in, in, in that controls and monitors access to crucial resources. Privileged Session Management A feature of uh, good PAM tools, PSM allows administrators to control, monitor and record privileged access session. Privileged session management may include SSH and RDP logging, uh, remote session monitoring, auditing and reporting, and workflow coordination. Types of privileged account An effective IAM strategy includes managed access to both privileged and non-privileged accounts, although it may seem uh, that increasing the number of accounts in your organization can reduce the attack surface. With PAM best practices, even the highest level users will connect with non-privileged access 90% of the time with IT staff using non-privileged accounts for day-to-day -day activities and only, uh, and only using privileged accounts to adjust permission, change critical data or perform other critical actions. Non-privileged accounts include standard user accounts these accounts meet the needs of typical business users email web browsing and word processing 
plus role based access to SaaS tools for communication and project management. Guest user accounts. These accounts have limited privileges including basic application access and internet browsing. Privileged accounts on the other hand allow system administrators to change settings for large groups of users, override or bypass security restraints and even configure and provision systems, cloud instances and other accounts. Privileged accounts occur in two uh, broad categories human user accounts and machine service accounts and exist in nearly all connected devices, servers, database and applications. Privileged user accounts, a super user account also called a root user, admin, administrator or supervisor. This account grants uh, specialized IT employees nearly unlimited privileges over our system. This includes the ability to execute commands, make system changes, create and modify files and settings and grant or revoke permissions for other users. Domain Administrator Account, also called Domain Admin. This is a Windows user account that can edit information in Active Directory including creating and deleting users and changing user permissions. Local Administrator Account, a local admin account allows a user to access and make changes to a local Windows machine but lacks the ability to modify information in AD for other users. SSH keys, secure socket shell uh, SSH keys are access credentials that provide direct root access to Unix like operating system often over a remote connection. Administrators use them much like usernames and passwords to implement single sign-on. Emergency account, also called break glass or a fire, a fire call account. This account allows uh, unprivileged users to bypass the access controls in a secure application in the event of a crisis. Privileged business users, these are users in finance, marketing, human resources and other roles who require limited access to sensitive systems. Privileged machine accounts. Application account. Application use these highly privileged accounts to access database, run bad jobs or scripts and confer access to other applications. Service account. Among two, uh, the highest risk privileged accounts, services use these accounts to interact with the operating system, make changes and run a scheduled task. Active Directory service account, also called domain service account. This type of account enables a service to interact with the operating system, managing users and computers, organizing data and changing passwords. SSH key, automated process use SSH keys to gain access to firewalls, routers and switches. Secret, also called privilege uh, credentials, secrets include API keys password, SSH keys, tokens and certificates that allow both human and service accounts to securely authenticate to privileged system. Defining privileged accounts for your organization. Ultimately, defining privileged accounts is the responsibility of each organization. Activities typically requiring uh, privileged access include granting and revoking access for other users, connecting to sensitive data and configuring provisioning and managing infrastructure. Which accounts require privileged access will vary by organization and by industry. Begin uh, by defining rules for users and outlining required privileges and access rights for those rules. Remember to limit access by scope as well as time. DevOps admin need different permissions than summer interns and privileged change when people leave or change rules within the company. Next, consider which system you would need to uh, recover first in the event of an attack those containing sensitive data, high level permissions and the ability to configure and access other systems. Remember that these may be women or service accounts. Finally, review the access needs of third party vendors in the massive 2013 target breach 
hackers gain access to sensitive data through the HVAC contractor, privilege access should be limited to vendors who need it and revoked when they finish the job. Taking these steps will help you limit or even eliminate one of the most common weak points organizations faced unmanaged privileged access accounts. Now why is privileged access is management is important? PAM security matters whether through a, a, a mistake unmanaged accounts present many privileged risks to your organization. When admin provide too much access in an effort to reduce friction, users who lack the proper expertise may uh, accidentally mistype a command or delete an important file causing catastrophic damage to your organization. Too much access may take the form of unnecessary privileges for a single user. It may also result from password sharing with multiple people using the same privileged account. Additionally, admins may try to uh, simplify network access by allowing a single account within your organization to operate multiple services or applications. A mistyped command or such an account could cause for reaching damage impacting systems across your organization across your network beyond uh, human error uh, distributed dis uh, granted former employees who retain privileged access or cyber criminals who uncover forgotten credentials may gain control over sensitive data privileged information and powerful systems Bad actors can use stolen credentials to gain access to your network and then uh, move uh, laterally, uh, laterally uh, progressively searching for the key data and assets they can use to damage your operations. Even privilege creep poses a security risk. An employee may change roles and uh, retain unneeded access, uh, gradually accumulating rights beyond what is required such employees may connect to an unmanaged account and perform unauthorized tasks whether in error or intentionally privilege creep uh, especially among bad actors with insider know-how can cause incalculable harm because privileged account holders can make administrative level changes to your network and because they can access confidential and sensitive data, they represent an elevated threat vector for your organization. Okay, so a comprehensive PAM policy will help limit this vulnerability. So friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for uh, watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you, friends.